Hi, I'm Susan Shambliss. I'm here about the adoption. Oh, it's Dana. Thank you for coming on Christmas Eve. Oh, not at all. Please. I don't understand. I mean, I think I have a right to know why you're rejecting my application. It's not mine to accept or reject Dana. We can only make recommendations to the judge. But at this time, I would advise against you becoming an adoptive parent. You're a single woman who's never been married or in a long-term relationship. You have a high-stress, time-intensive, and dangerous occupation. One I sense you're greatly dedicated to, and one in which would become a secondary priority to the care and well-being of this child. I'm just not sure this is the sacrifice you're prepared to make. <laughs> well. It's one that I've given a great deal of thought to. I mean, to be honest, I started to question in my priorities when I was first diagnosed. I feel like I've been given a second chance. Ever since I was a child, I've never been able to get too close to people. Perhaps I was too scared of death and dying. I've never, I refused emotional attachment. I just thought that uh, get, getting any clothes being connected to anybody was just a bad thing, something that wouldn't last. But I don't feel that way anymore. I know you're a trained physician and are aware of Emily's medical condition. I want to stress to you, Dana, Emily is a special needs child. According to her doctors, her condition is incurable. Emily requires constant care, both medical and emotional. The good news is you have firsthand experience of grave illness. The bad news is you would relive this through the eyes of a child. I'm aware of that, and I feel like I'm ready. Well, we'll review your application and make our recommendations. I wish you luck. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.